Hi there, this is Melissa Murguia from the Cisco TAC XR team. Today, we'll discuss implementing an ACL to troubleshoot packet loss issues on a Cisco ASR9K series device. ACLs are helpful for network security, filtering traffic by IP addresses, protocols, and ports. Their main function is to control and monitor packet flow by permitting or denying traffic within a network. ACLs help diagnose packet loss by allowing network administrators to filter and isolate a specific packet. They enable you to identify and control traffic by monitoring and adjusting permissions, and troubleshoot by allowing or denying traffic to pinpoint the source of packet loss. Take the next topology as reference for the example. Flyer reports that the next ping doesn't reach its destination. So first, ensure the router knows how to reach that IP. Now, ping the next hub address to confirm PE3 can reach the next router. Let's begin creating the ACL to validate that PE3 is indeed sending the packets. Remember, all configurations needs to be done in configuration mode. First, you need to name your ACL. Then. Permit the traffic by specifying the source host and the destination host. Remember to always include a permit any statement at the end of your ACL. If you do not, any traffic not explicitly permitted by your ACL entries will be denied. Finally, commit your changes to apply the configuration. The next step is to associate the ACL with the interface. Remember, the topology indicates the use of bundle Ether 34. And since we are trying to match the traffic that is leaving the router, this ACL needs to be applied as an egress ACL. Now, with this command, we can verify that the ACL is properly configured. This command will help us validate the packet sent. Initially, no packets are seen. This is expected, since we haven't sent any pins yet. So let's perform the ping. Let's validate once more now that we have performed the ping to confirm if the packets were indeed sent. We noticed that using the next hub IP, we found five matches, indicating that the packets are indeed being sent. Please note the numbers after the permit statement. This indicate the order in which the ACL will be read. We can also edit our ACL by adding a new entry. In this case, we will add an entry with the IP address that is not pingable. Also, it's important to remember that ACLs are read sequentially, so we need to add it before the permit any statement as shown in the example. Finally, remember to always validate that it is correctly created and perform the ping to check for matches. In conclusion, the TAC test ACL was essential in confirming that the PE3 router is correctly sending packets as shown by the match. This indicates that PE3 is not the source of the problem, suggesting the need for further investigation along the network path. Thank you for watching this video.